guys, how's it going? It's me, Megan, and I am back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and a few other platforms, but mostly Poshmark. And here on YouTube, I like to make reseller content. I'll do it sold videos, I'll do hauls like this, I'll do all that good stuff. So if that is something you guys are interested in, please make sure to like and subscribe, and that way you'll never miss one of my videos. So I got another bins haul for you. I mentioned it kind of recently, but I have challenged myself this February to just source from the bins. I spent a lot of money in January and I'm trying to offset that, keep my cost of goods down low, and also get plenty of things to list because I also purged my inventory recently and got rid of several things. Gonna send it to thread up, send it to flip lot, send it to Plato's closet, all that good stuff. But this has been one of many bin strips I've done recently and I've been having a lot of fun. So today I went to the Vancouver bins. It's not something that I usually do. I usually go to the one in Portland, the Milwaukee one. Um, I've been to the one by the airport and one other one in Portland. There are several, um, but the Milwaukee one, I like the most just because I'm used to it and it is huge. There's always a lot of space and a lot of stuff um, to go around, but I have been to the Vancouver one in the past, I believe. I'm now thinking it might have been in Tacoma, pre-pandemic, so a long time ago. And I know a few of you guys mentioned I should try it out. And so I did. It wasn't the best, I will say, um, but it was very refreshing to go to a new location where things weren't as crazy. I feel like a lot of people were looking for hard goods, but the clothing wasn't great. And um, it was kind of hard when I got there to figure out what the new bins were and what the older bins were. But eventually they were bringing out new bins and I actually was comfortable enough to be at the new bins, which I never, ever, ever do. Um, I didn't find anything great from being like the first ones at the bin because a lot of it wasn't clothes, but I did get um, some good shoes, which again, never happens at my normal bins. And yeah, so I'm just gonna share it with you guys. I also got McDonald's on the way back. I was literally starving, but yeah, I ended up getting 35.6 pounds, which isn't too bad. And it was $1.29 a pound. I didn't check to see what their rules were. Um, like if at, over a certain weight, the price goes down like at mine, but I imagine that was probably the case. And there was a sales tax, which we don't have in Portland. So I ended up spending $49.84, so pretty much $50 for all this stuff. Some of this stuff I'm gonna have to list like today because I did get some jackets, which I'm still picking up and they're still selling for me, but they won't be for very long. It is the end of, or mid-February when I'm filming this. Um, but this is a plus size puffer jacket. This isn't down filled, um, it's just polyester, but it is Ava and Viv and it's a 2X, which I believe is Target's plus size line. And this jacket I thought was in really good condition. Um, it's not always easy to find puffers in this size for women, especially the long ones. And yeah, like I said, good condition. I know people didn't pick it up probably because it wasn't a great brand. A little bit on the heavy side not too bad actually but yeah i think that will definitely sell quickly it won't sell for much but it's definitely a substantial piece i also picked up this jacket which i was excited about um it's fox is the brand it's like uh i know it in new england as like um a dirt bike brand i don't know if that's completely true but it was a really good condition when i was putting it in my cart i did notice some dirt, but that wasn't terrible. The issue is the zipper. I zipped it all the way up and so you see the zippers up there, it's split immediately. So the zipper's broken and not fixable. So that's a bummer. I'm not gonna end up selling that. And it was a little bit heavier, so rough, but yeah. This is another damaged piece. I really liked it. It's one of those pieces that you find in a pile that you know people have gone through and you go, why did no one pick that up? And then you buy it and you later realize that you missed a stain, which isn't a big deal. It's hard to even see on camera, but there's a stain here. Um, but there's also a hole, which also wouldn't be a huge deal, but I don't want to fix it. <laughs> Unless I find out that this is like a really good style or something. I think the inside tags were cut out so I couldn't even look it up. So I'm probably gonna pass on that as well, but that's okay. So everything else I believe should be sellable. There's always a chance that things are flawed and I won't notice until I get them photographed. This sweater is UMG and I wouldn't usually pick up UMG unless it's at the bins. And even then I prefer their embroidered more boho pieces, but I thought this was a really cute sweater. 
Um, again, we're going out of sweater season, but I was like the Dolman sleeves, shorter in the front, lower in the back, just a really nice basic. Uh, neutral colors, all that good stuff. The tag says nothing, <laughs> the inner tag. So I don't know what it's made out of, but maybe I could find a similar listing online. So this I meant to run comps on, but I didn't. Um, it's this like backpack that would go cross body like this, but on your back or you could wear it on the front. I know this brand is good and I do believe it's based in Washington, Kavu. It even has it embroidered here. Um, this bag is a little bit dirty, but actually mostly clean, which is surprising. Oh, there's some bracelets and then a hair elastic in there. Um, some toothpick things. Oh gosh. <laughs> I know people look through the bags mostly to find money, so I wouldn't ever really expect to find any myself. This is a really nice like hiking bag, day bag, all that good stuff. Um, I didn't look up comps, but I think I could get a good amount of money for this. Probably nothing crazy, but probably around that $30 mark. Um, Kavu, I found their men's overalls once at the bins and they had this like interesting Sasquatch print on them and they sold really well and really quickly. I want to say for like around $60. So a brand to possibly be on the lookout for. This is a brand I've never sold before, but since I saw it at the bins and I've heard good things about it, I thought I'd pick it up and try it. If it's nothing good, I might just send it in a flip lot. This is the brand BKE. I don't know if that's short for buckle or sold at buckle. I believe these are a men's jean. They're the Jake bootleg and they're a 32 regular. And they're in really, really nice condition. I'll have to look it up. It's nice that they have a style on there and I can check comps that way. This is one of my better finds as well. This is an Adidas white puffer vest. I looked it over really well in the store and then when I was putting it in my cart and I didn't see anything wrong with it. And this was just on top of a pile. So I don't know why no one would pick it up. It's one of those things where I feel like I'm missing a huge flaw. It is from 2008, so an older style, but this is pretty classic and there's nothing really outdated about it. So this I'll also get listed pretty quickly. That'd be a nice transition piece for spring. This was a brand I actually um, found a few times today and picked up a few pieces. I think that's how it goes. This is a little teddy set. It's pink. Um, I'm definitely going to miss listing this in time for Valentine's Day, which is coming up um, next Monday in a week. I mean, I'm sure if someone bought this today, it would get there in time, but no promises. But this set was originally $40 and it's from the brand Kasik. Correct me if I'm wrong. I feel like I said that right. Um, and it's Lane Bryant's like lingerie bra brand. And yeah, even comes with the thong. <laughs> I think this is cute. I do think someone will pick this up. I've sold that brand before. I've sold a bra before um, that I got in a fun box. So I thought I'd try it. These I picked up a lot based on style. They're a ribbed camel color tan uh, legging. I've never heard of this brand, um, but it is made in the US. I didn't look up comps again, <laughs> but it's Beach Riot Sport, Beach Riot Sport. And they're a size small. They're in really nice condition. And I do think someone will pick these up. Have to look comps up on those. I feel like if you've been watching any of my recent bins haul videos, <laughs> I can't even talk. You probably aren't surprised that I picked this up. It's a little Hannah Anderson 12 to 18 month, which I wouldn't usually pick up because it's like a younger size. So I feel like a size that a kid would grow out more quickly, but it's like a little jumpsuit and the rainbow print just got me. It's absolutely adorable. It snaps in. This is really perfect for like a little newborn. Hannah Anderson, I do like to pick up. I haven't been doing super well with their pieces recently. I've only been getting a lot of like simple pieces, not like jackets or anything like dresses, but I have done well with them in the past. Um, they actually, I think did a Disney collab and I found one of those dresses at the bins, not in great condition, but it sold super well. This I realized had a bunch of stains when I was putting it in my car. Um, I already knew it had some bleach marks, but it has stains in the front. It's a vintage. <laughs> 
crazy woman uh, buffalo wyoming crew neck i might still list this i might attempt to get the stains out but they are pretty not cute <laughs> not like in a fun vintage distressed way um maybe someone could bleach dye it but i just thought <laughs> it being called crazy woman would just be so fun if it was my size i would just keep it it's not it is a size small I don't really find a lot of graphic print things um, when I'm shopping myself, like in the store. So I do like to pick it up when I can find it at the bins and I think it's cute. <laughs> Another pair of denim. This is Wild Fable, which is just Target and they're a size eight. <laughs> but I picked these up because Wild Fable actually does really well for me. I personally do really love their denim. It fits me super well. These aren't my size, but they are the high rise mom jean and yeah, mom jeans are still super trendy, straight leg, high rise, mom jeans, dad jeans, um, anything like that. This I picked up when I wasn't really finding anything and I forgot that I'd even put it in my cart, but it is a Hurley hoodie, probably a boys or a men's. It's a large, so it might be a boys, which is fine. I'll look it up, but it actually has and I think I've seen this before, but it has Nike dry fit in it. So I don't think it's like a collab, but I think it's kind of like how Clark's uses Nike insole material in their shoes sometimes. I believe it's Clark's, I'm not sure. Then I found two new tags bridesmaid dresses. I didn't, I looked them over as best I could, but I imagine there might be some stains that I missed. The brand is Azazi and I've actually had really good luck um, selling this brand pre-pandemic um, but ever since it's been a little bit harder for me to move honestly I just have one dress that I've had a hard time moving and it's in a pretty rough color but this has a nice high slit I do think this is a newer style and one thing um, is that they have so the size is a 16 I think that means it's a 16 but you can check the size chart on their website but be careful if you see these dresses and it says like C something. C means custom. So it's not gonna be like a size 16. It's gonna be like custom measurements to whoever bought it. And that's why I have a hard time selling the dress I have too. Ooh, this tag actually has the bust, waist, and hip measurements and the color and the style. I also know that this color is a very popular bridesmaid dress color right now. I've been to two weddings where this was their dress color pretty much, this light blue. I know because the first time I wore a dress this color and I blended in, so. This one, and I also found the plastic bag that it came in, I believe, so I can ship it in that, which is nice. And not only did I find one, but I found two. Um, this one's also new with tags. I'm trying to get it so my cat doesn't attack it. But this one is a different style. I imagine someone bought these wanting to figure out what style they want to do. This one kind of has like a little cape, which is cute. Same size, A16, new with tags. And this one's called the Jamie dress, but they are the same color. And I found the bag to that one as well. A few more clothing pieces, and then I'll get into the shoes. This I've heard of, but I don't even know if it's good. I probably should have threw it back or looked up comps, but I didn't. But the brand is Bali. These are a size medium and they're just a little workout short. If they're nothing special, I'll just send them in to like a thread up partner kit, but they're a little blue running short. This is world market one size. My cat's definitely gonna attack it. <laughs> um, I have done well with this brand in the past, but I really wouldn't pick it up unless I liked the piece or again, it was like at the bins, but it has these cute little tassels. <laughs> kind of looks like a pillowcase with a waistband. Um, but it's lightweight. It is sheer, but I think that would be a really cute beach cover-up. Then I found these AG Anthropology specifically jeans. I don't usually pick up AG jeans. They just haven't done well for me. But AG Anthropology, meaning they were sold at Anthropology. They are a skinny, um, more light wash, and they have this intentional little cut down there, um, which I thought was kind of cute. There was a bit of puckering, but nothing terrible. I will just note that. And they seem to be kind of small. They're the high rise Stevie ankle in a 25 regular, which is small. It's not the worst thing, but it is pretty small. If I don't sell it, I'll send it to a flip lot or thread up eventually. Another pair of jeans. 
These are American Eagle jeans. This is the older label. I looked at the inner tag and they're from 2016, so it's not terrible. Um, and these are, oh, they're a super low checking. I did not realize that they were low rise. I love how they say super low, but this is not, if I don't notice that it's low rise, it's not that low, but low rise, people do like it. It is kind of making a comeback. I wouldn't say low rise skinny jeans, but who knows? I'll definitely list them. They're in like nude condition. I don't think the person wore them and they are distressed, which is great for summer and they're stretched, the super stretch and they're a size two. I will pick up American Eagle smaller sizes because I know that um, it's very popular amongst teenagers and young women that are smaller sizes. Say hi, Sunday. She wants attention. Another pair of jeans. These, I like to pick up Torrid when I'm at the bins and these were a Torrid 24 short. I don't mind picking up longs and shorts. I don't love picking up petites, but longs and shorts are fine. And these I really looked over. I'm not sure what the style is called. Hopefully it sits on the inside, but the thighs looked really, really good. I don't think these have really been worn at all, which is great. These are actually from uh, last year, which is great. And they have an item number. So hopefully I will be able to figure out the style. I'm guessing the person got them and they just didn't like the style. Here are a couple of those cacique, um, cacique. I feel like I said it right the first time, but now I don't know, cacique bras, the Lane Bryant bra brand. And the reason I got these is because of the size. They are a bigger size and they have the bra strap extenders even. So this is a 44 H. This one isn't in as good a condition. There was another one that I threw back that was also not in great condition. Um, you can tell it's been worn, but I don't think it's been worn terribly. Um, and it's actually really soft. And I thought this print was cute. It's sometimes really hard for people with um, bigger bra sizes to find cute prints. So that's something to keep in mind. Another one, this one was in better condition. This one's like in great condition. This one's more like of a satiny and they're both the same size, same brand, 44H. Yeah, and there was a third one there, but I threw that one back. It wasn't in great condition but these are really cute. A pair of American Eagle shorts, which I'm not passing up any shorts right now. They'll be selling before we know it. Um, these are a size six, they're the super stretch. Again, older label. These are from the year 2014, but just classic. Some pulling, um, distressing, which is cute. All right, one last clothing piece. This I picked up for myself. If comps are good, I'll sell it, but I don't, I don't know this brand, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Apana, it's a size large. It's like my favorite color, this pale yellow. And I am always in search of more workout tops, as you can tell, I'm wearing one. Semester at sea, if you don't know, that is where I met my husband in 2016. All those years ago, our six year anniversary, right? Yeah, six year, wow. Anniversary is actually coming up um, on February 20th, so very soon. All right, now I'm gonna get into the items that aren't clothing. I found one purse there today. I never see purses at the bins and I did see quite a few there today. So I was definitely looking through them. I know I already showed you that one bag, but this is a purse. You might be able to tell what it is just by looking at it. Um, I was very surprised to still see it there. It does need some cleaning. There are some scuffs, if you can see that, but and like, I don't know if this is leather paint or what, but there's like a little cut there. I have some Doc Martens Wonder Bomb, but let me tell you that is not a lifesaver. If you are cleaning a lot of leather purses, bags, or shoes, I would also recommend getting some shoe or leather polish. I use the Kiwi brand, which is very cheap. You can usually find it at your local grocery store and that will help you out a ton for things like scuffs that you can't get out just with leather polish cleaner. But anyway, this is made well. Again, I was very surprised to see it there. I know it's in rough condition. It's not even that bad condition, honestly, but I mentioned this a lot, but I do feel like a lot of the times people are just looking for money in purses and just throw them back. But I am looking for the purses. This is from spring of 2017, 100% leather, pretty classic. I do prefer they're all brown purses like this, um, like in the cognac brown. I've gotten one before in um, an old thread up handbag box I got when they used to do like the 25 or 
it might have been even more back then. Um, we usually get bigger lots full of purses. We're moving on to shoes. I never find shoes because they very rarely have them out at my bins, um, but I found a few today. These might have been a bad buy, but I really liked the way that they looked. They're very, very dirty. I do have shoe cleaner. I don't love to clean shoes, but I will. <laughs> it has like an asymmetrical pattern there on the front. Um, it was kind of hard to find sneakers there today because there are certain resellers that will just pick up all the sneakers. Like they'll just pick them up, pick them up, pick them up, put them in their cart, look them up and throw them back if they aren't worth anything. Um, but these are a men's size nine and a half. So a woman's maybe 11. Um, it has the art number and these are from 2017. They are Adidas. You can see it back there. Um, the soles are very worn, um, but they are there. Probably can't see, but it doesn't, you can't even read Adidas. These were well loved, but I will clean them up and hopefully get a decent amount for them. These I also really liked. Um, they're Vans. I like to sell Vans. I don't pick them up. Um, I wouldn't pick them up at the prices that I have at my Goodwill. But if I get them in like shoe boxes or anything, I'm usually pretty happy. Um, these are a men's US eight and a half, a woman's size 10. I've never seen a tag like that in a van shoe. So I'm definitely gonna have to make sure these are real. I don't know who would fake vans. I wonder if these are leather, but they're very clean. And um, I found one in a bin and then I had my hands full. Um, so I went to go put my stuff back in the cart. And so I put it back um, and then the last bin I found the other shoe, so then I had to retrace my steps and find it again. Um, there's some bulging here. You can see that. I don't really know what that's about. Interesting. I don't know. I thought they were cute. I like snake print. And another pair of Vans. I really loved this print. I can't sell these. I know my Plato's Closet will take them. They always have tons of Vans there. But yeah, these are cute little paisley print. I am now noticing that this sole is kind of janky i'll probably list them and tell people that they just need to replace them um these are also a men's you a men's eight and a half women's 10. these ones say made in china again i'm gonna have to do some research they have that same looking tag on the inside but i really like this print they are dirty again that sole's kind of messed up so i probably won't get too much for them um but i am going to list them these i picked up purely based on style um, they're Skechers, and I'm guessing they're older. Not quite sure when. I'm going to do a little bit of a Google search and see if anything comes up. Don't know what size they are, um, but Skechers. Some of the shoes had these tags on them, and I don't know if the bins did this or whoever donated them did this, but it says what's wrong with them. This one says stain, and I don't know if it's talking about like this part, because it is kind of stained, but I love the lug sole, it's very thick. These are very fun. I see these selling on Depop. I've sold vintage Skechers there in the past. And yeah, they're both like that. I see that there should be a size, but it's very worn off of one and just pretty worn off of the other. I think it either says a US size six or a UK size six. So I'll try these on. If they're small, I'm gonna imagine they're a US size six. Then I found these adorable boots. Um, I really like the way these looked. Again, I found one and it took me a really long time to find the other, but I eventually did. Um, these are Lucky Brand. I was just a little, trying to read what that says, but they have a little four leaf clovers on there. I do like picking up Lucky Brand's um, leather pieces, like their boots. I think this is a bit older, just by the way that that looks. Luckily, the sticker is still on the bottom and there are a nine, they are a nine and a half. The lining is cracking a little bit on the inside, but nothing crazy. Um, and these, I am gonna have to do a little bit of fixing on. The toes are a little bit rough. And I know that this, like on the back, like this dark brown, that's purposeful. There's a name for it. I don't know if it's called varnishing. I'm gonna have to try and look it up and I'll pop it in if I figure it out. Um, but yeah, they're like darker at the toes and darker at the back, but I know that that is a style. Um, and then yeah, do a little bit of leather treatment, conditioning, and I don't know. I just thought they were really cute. Glad they still have the size. That would have been very annoying. 
but I'm really happy about these. One more shoe and then one other item and then I'm all done. And if you've been around this whole video, thank you so much. Let me know what your favorite piece has been so far. So these I'm gonna have to do research on. They're Birkenstocks, but I need to figure out if they're real or not. Let me know if you guys see any like automatic marks that they're not. They say Burke on the bottom. I don't know if they're supposed to say Burke or Burks. I will look it up um, myself, but if you guys know any tricks, let me know. Um, they're very clean. They're like new. Um, they have that open footprint, which I like when it's not colored in, I think someone said that means something. I don't know. The print looks fine. One of the things that I noticed was with the hole you see there, that's kind of imperfect. I don't know if someone could do that themselves. Added a couple extra holes. I don't know. If I find out they're fake, I'm gonna keep them. They are my size and I love Birkenstocks and I've actually never owned a pair of real Birkenstocks, but hopefully they're real because they are super clean. I do super well selling Birks, haven't in a long time, sold them. Okay, last piece. I actually didn't unravel this, so there might be a big hole or a stain. I just saw the tag. And with all the hype about this movie recently, I just, I could not leave it. I couldn't leave it. I know someone's gonna buy it. I couldn't leave it. I'm trying to find the tag. It's Twilight. <laughs> Twilight, it's so funny. I, I couldn't even really open up and look at it because it gives me so much cringe. But O-M-G. I guess it's like the Cullen family, I think. Yeah, I read the books and I only watched the first movie once in theaters and it was just so cringy. But I'm not seeing any stains at all. So yay, this is a winner. Hopefully I could just find a picture online because it's gonna be really hard to photograph. But how funny, and it says Twilight <laughs> down at the bottom. How funny is that? I honestly couldn't believe this was still there because like I mentioned, like the jokes and everything about this movie recently and the diehard fans. It's just hilarious. Um, but yeah, I don't know how much I'll get for this. It's just a fleece blanket. It's not anything exciting. Um, it's not, I don't even think it's the best novelty print that there is, but I thought it was funny. Again, I couldn't leave it behind. Um, but yeah, that was my haul today. I'm so glad I found shoes. Um, I'm glad I found some of those cute shoes that I forgot about. Um, but yeah, let me know what your favorite find was. I'm trying to think about what mine was. I honestly think it was that blanket. I can't lie. I think that's absolutely hilarious. <laughs> and yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this bins haul. Let me know how your sourcing and selling has gone. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> that was cute.